Hey, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym of Wellness. Today's tip is about being sore after a workout. Um, a lot of times people, are, you know, they, they ask me, you know, it's like you've been, sorry, my little hook thing isn't working right. Um, you know, you've been working out. I've been doing this for 23 years and people are like, I still can't believe that you're sore after all these years. Well, so what, what soreness is, for those of you that don't know, um, it's when you, you you work out, obviously, you're hitting, your, you know, you're tearing your muscles down. When you tear your muscles down, or when you're, when you're, damn. Okay, hold on, because this, my little hook thing ain't working. I'm trying to hook it up. There we go. I think it's working now. Sorry about that little fall. <laughs> um, so when you, when you work out, when you're lifting weights, you're tearing, you know, small micro tears in your muscles. Um, so obviously after small tears in your muscles, you're going to be sore. You should be sore. So yes, after I work out, if I've hit it hard and hard enough, good enough, you know, I, I'm going to be sore and I better be sore. If I'm not sore, then, you know, I obviously, I'm having issues. Somebody just text me. <laughs> ah. So obviously, if I'm not tearing my muscles down, if I'm not sore, then I didn't I didn't get the full, you know, capacity, you know, the full workout. So yes, um what was was today? Today's Friday. Wednesday I did my legs. From my waist down, everything hurts. My ass, my hamstrings, my calves. Um, you know, and so you're always changing up. The more you change it up, the more um, you know you're you're going to see results if you keep doing the same thing, the same um, exercises, the same way, the same weights, the same reps. You know it, it, it's boring. Your body's used to it, so therefore no results. So you have to change it up. The more you change it up, the better the results. And yes, you're going to be sore. You know, I mean, I did my shoulders the other day and uh, yesterday. And you know, I got some you know soreness and fatigue in my in my traps, in my in my delts, and you know, um, today was bicep tricep day. Well, I'm I'm hoping and praying that you know I'm sore. I, I I got a good pump, so I should be sore in my triceps. Biceps are a little bit harder to get to get sore for me, but every now and then you I, I kick my ass, you know, really really good. Um, but yes, bottom line is you want to be sore, not so sore that you're so debilitated that you can't freaking walk or, you know, sit to pee and well, for women sit to pee, men, they don't have to, um, you know, but you, 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 you want to be sore. You want to have that good sore, um, you know, so that you know that you're actually tearing down those muscle fibers. You're doing something different. Your body is responding different. So therefore, if your body's responding different, you're going to see different results. You're going to see those results that you're looking for. So yes, 23 years later, you know, I'm still working out. I'm still sore. Um, you know, after my workouts, you know, a day or two after my workouts or whatever. Uh, sometimes, like I said, I hit, you know, so like I think, oh, I didn't do that. I haven't done that. Haven't done that. Haven't done that. And I kind of combine them all in one shot. And then I'm like sore for five days. And I'm like, shit, why did I do that? You know, but, um, you know, go, go big or go home, you know, um, you, you should be sore. Another, uh, another member at the gym, she went on a vacation and she said she, you know, didn't do her legs. She was able to do some other upper body things, but she didn't quite get her legs in on vacation. Um, and, um, so, you know, this week she did her legs and she's like, holy crap, just missing one week. Yeah. You miss one week, you know, of, of working out, you know, they say missing two weeks of not working out is pretty much like starting all over again. You're going to go through this like like different kind of sore, like starting all over kind of sore. So, you know, that's why I always stress, do something, even if you're on vacation, do something, you know, so that you, you, you are sore, but you're not like, holy, I am like extremely sore and I can't, you know, walk or, or whatever. So soreness is good and you should be sore. I don't care how long you've worked out or how short you've worked out, how, you know, as far as years, you know, um, you know, how long you've been doing it or how short a time you've been doing it. You still should be sore. If not, then the next time you work that body part, think about what you can do different, different reps, different weight, different angles, you know, mix up the orders. I, you know, talk a lot about that on my YouTube channel. Um, D K N Y K N I G H T search that. Um, 
you know, so I hope this helps, you know, with, you know, it's okay to be sore and you should be sore. And yes, after 23 years of working out, I am still sore every single time I, you know, finish my workout, you know, like the day or so after. So, um, you know, it's uh, what you should always be sore. Correct. Yes. Yes. You should always, well, not always, always be sore, but yes, after a workout the day or two, sometimes people, I call them a two a dayers, um, that, you know, after, after, after a workout let's say you do a workout on Wednesday you might not be sore on Thursday but Friday it might you know kind of kick in a little bit so yes you should always be sore um, after a workout little you know like little fatigue feeling that you know um, you know and that means that you're doing something you're actually going to see results your muscle tissue is breaking down and it's repair it's going to repair itself and then you break down new tissue to you know get the muscles bigger stronger better better all that good stuff. So stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.